in this example, we are given that in the circuit shown in figure ECMF is ten cos of hundred pi t, and here we are required to find the circuit impedance and the potential difference across points A and B when this is half of the voltage of the source at that instant. Now, in this situation, the very first thing we can directly calculate the circuit impedance. Which we know Z will be in phasor form. It is R phasor plus XL phasor plus XC phasor, and in magnitude the value of Z is given as root of R square plus XL minus XC square. Here uh, we know XL minus XC is minus six, so the difference is six, and the value of R is eight. This can be written as root of eight square plus six square. Which is equals to 10 ohms. That will be one answer of this problem for the circuit impedance. If we have got the circuit impedance, we can calculate the circuit current. Here, uh, circuit current can be directly written as I is equals to E by Z. So if we substitute the value, E will be 10 cos of uh, 100 pi t. Divided by Z, we know the value of Z we write as 10 ohms, but we also know well that in phasor form, due to capacitive component higher than inductive component in this situation, current will lead EMF by a phase angle given by 10 inverse of XL minus XC by R. So here the phase angle of this impedance we can directly write 10 inverse of XL minus XC by R that will be 6 by 8, which is 10 inverse 3 by 4, that is 37 degree. So here we can write E by Z, Z we can write as 10 ohm angle minus 37 degree. So in this situation we can directly write the value of current here will be 10 by 10 is 1. This is cos of 100 pi t plus 37 degree. Here I have written EMF in time function. You can also write in phasor form like 10 angle 0 degree with a cosine function divided by 10 angle minus 37 degree as cosine function as the base of this EMF. So here we can write current in the circuit as cos of 100 pi t plus 37 degree. Here we calculate the potential difference across points A and B. Potential difference across A and B in phasor form V A B can be written as the current phasor multiplied by the total reactance between the two. That will be X C minus X L phasor. And here we know that across terminals A and B, as capacitance is more. So across terminals A e and B, the potential difference will be 90 degree lagging behind the current. So here we can write the value of X C minus X L is 6 ohm. So this will be 6 multiplied by current will be cos of 100 pi t plus 37 minus 90. So this will be minus 53 degree. So this is the potential difference across terminals A and B as a function of time. Reason you can write here V A B phasor will lag behind I phasor by 90 degree because X C is more than X L because we know when capacitance component or the reactive Capacitance is more than the effect of inductance in the circuit. The current will lead the potential difference. Now let's continue the remaining part of this problem on the next sheet. Now we are given that the potential difference across terminals A B is a half of the EMF of The source applied across the combination. So here we can write V A B is six cos of hundred pi t minus fifty three degree is equals to five cos of hundred pi t, which is the half of E M F. E M F was ten cos hundred pi t. Now we open this term. This you can see it will be six cos of 
हंड्रेड पाई टी मल्टीप्लाइड बाई कॉस फिफ्टी थ्री डिग्री विच कैन बी रिटर्न एज थ्री बाई फाइव प्लस इट इज सिक्स साइन ऑफ हंड्रेड पाई टी मल्टीप्लाइड बाई साइन फिफ्टी थ्री डिग्री विच इज फोर बाई फाइव इज इक्वल टू फाइव कॉस ऑफ हंड्रेड पाई टी नाउ वी सिंप्लीफाइ द टर्म्स वी कैन टेक दिस को साइन टर्म ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड लेफ्ट हैंड साइड यू कैन सी दिस ट्वेंटी फोर बाई फाइव साइन ऑफ हंड्रेड पाई टी is equals to on the right hand side this see what we are getting it is 5 minus 18 by 5 this can be written as 7 by 5 cos of 100 pi t now your five gets cancel out and we are getting 10 of 100 pi t is equals to 7 by 24 And we are going to find the potential difference across terminals E and B, which can be written as a half of uh, the EMF of source at that instant, which is five cos of hundred uh, pi t. As ten hundred pi t, we know we can easily calculate by trigonometric ratios. If this angle is hundred pi t, so this will be seven by twenty four, and this side will be twenty five cos of hundred pi t. In this situation, we are getting is twenty four by twenty five. So this we are getting five multiplied by twenty four by twenty five, which is twenty four by five volt. That will be the answer to this problem.